and stakeholders from across the country have been urged to unite in finding lasting solutions to conflict and strengthen peace building initiatives. The call comes ahead of the upcoming summit of the future set to take place in September in New York. A correspondent piece, Ogenevawe, attended the national stakeholder consultation on the summit of the future New Agenda for Peace held at the UN House in Abuja. In our report. Conflict prevention, structural approach to dealing with conflicts, need for structured justice, as well as moving peace building from federal to local levels are four paradigm shifts proposed in looking at ways to restructure peace building efforts. These suggestions were made by Director General, Office for Strategic Preparedness and Resilience, Dr. Chris Nguodo, who highlighted causes of conflict in the Nigerian society. We have a large young population and we haven't quite figured out how to guarantee legitimate pathways mm. to self-actualization or for self-actualization for them. In these conditions, the competition for scarce resources becomes very intense. And within this context, in a heterogeneous country, ethnic identity, sectarian identity, all kinds of identity formations become extremely salient because that itself becomes the basis for competition and the basis for access. Executive Director of the Kuka Center, an interfaith-based organization, Reverend Father Atta Barkindo, advocated that concept of peace be unpacked and poverty treated as a form of war. More people are living time, even due to healthcare, due to poverty, due to hunger, much more than those who have died from bombs. So I think unpacking the concept of peace and defining poverty as part of war not by implications, but by definition. I think for me it's important because a lot of communities really are left behind. While explaining the need for a national stakeholder consultation ahead of the summit, Director General, Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution, Dr. Joseph Ochogo said there is a pressing need for stronger international cooperation among institutions and stakeholders. The complexities of our time, from the changing nature of armed conflict to persistent violence outside of armed conflicts to the periods of weaponizing new and emerging technologies, to rising inequalities within and among nations, to the shrinking space for civic participation, to the climate emergencies, to arms proliferation, to food insecurity and terrorism, requires us to come together, transcending all borders, ideologies, race, to forge pathways towards peace and prosperity. We need that level of togetherness. We need that level of joint up kind of actions, you know, with development partners as well as local actors and across the regional level. UN Residence Coordinator Mr. Mohamed Fall urged stakeholders to always meet to provide avenue to thoroughly understand and discuss the pact on international peace and security that will be a key outcome of the Summit of the Future, New Agenda for Peace. In order to protect and manage the global public good of peace, we need a better understanding of the underlying drivers and system of influence that are sustaining conflict. A renewed effort to agree on more effective and collective security response and a meaningful set of steps to manage emerging risk. Summit of the Future is a once-in-a-generation opportunity to strengthen the multilateral system to address existing and emerging challenges, improve global governance and accelerate the implementation of existing commitments including the 2030 agenda peace organic bowe ad